it's your boy Brad. to the channel y'all know what to do man make sure y'all hit that like button subscribe click that notification bell to all the always so you get every video end of the year we trying to hit 100k so make sure y'all hit that sub button bro make sure y'all look at my channel and make sure you hit that sub button but ado let's get right to the video Finally, Brax has come back for some more interview with Ismail. I ain't finna watch all of this, y'all. So I'm probably gonna watch 15 minutes of it. And I did not know Ismail had a song with. Uh, he had a he he got a song. Start with Michael. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The song, he had a song with Michael, which I didn't know. What is it? Yeah, Michael Bars, Victorious. So, hey, y'all, this, I'm just going to watch 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes of this song, and then I got to react to that, you know? But right now, I just want to, you know, like I said, man, I want to, I want to get to know Ismail, like, what he talking about, where he come from. This motivate me, man. Because he, like, what, 22, 21? All right, man, let's get it. And thank y'all for watching this video, man. It felt really like a lot it. more personal when you're talking about, when you're talking with and singing with just your, your regular voice and not having to, like, <laughs> you know. Facts, facts. facts. Well, well uh, this podcast is about you, uh, your journey in music, and we'll talk about the new record and the, and the new single as well. Definitely, definitely. Thank you. We'll excited. Cool. Awesome, awesome. So I did see that you were uh, born and raised in the Philippines. Yes, sir. Very cool. Talk to me about that a little bit. My mother-in-law is actually born and raised in uh, Milan, so she's moved here. Oh, from from Manila, from, from Manila. Oh, from Manila. I'm sorry, the audio glitched a little bit. You oh yeah. Mom. Oh, sorry, Manila. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. That's cool. That's cool. That's awesome to know. Yeah. So all she right. moved to San Diego when she was 12. Yeah. Uh, so my whole family actually. Yeah, my whole. My whole family. Um, was born and raised in uh, actually Olongapo City, or otherwise we call it Subic Bay, like okay. you know, in the Philippines. So that's where kind of like um, the background of being in bands or like being surrounded by band music. Okay. It's like, you know, the whole range of the genres, but mostly at the time, I would say like uh, rock, you know, rock metal and like 80s hair metal. That was like their thing. That was. Oh, uh, like, really? That's what I would soak up in, but um. Oh, okay. interesting. Like band, okay. like were there, you know, there were just bands from there, like original bands, like uh, you know, yeah, writing because, their own songs. That's yeah, cool. the, the Subic Bay. Um, it was it used to be a naval base, so like it would like you know the American culture would just like be uh -huh. kind of right into that city. It would be like the open port. It it still is a port to this day. Okay. Interesting. You know, yeah. That's amazing. That's so cool. I, I wanted, I didn't like the video I did last month. I did not know he went to, he worked at Burger King and write his lyrics on a, on a, on a, on a rapper. So you soaked up like that type of music. Well, uh, when did you get into music? Was that the first uh, music that you were you know, really getting into? Or were you not really so much into the rock metal? Burger King. Oh. I mean, like at the time, of course, them, like my parents being into that, like, of course, that was their, like, you know, um, way of living and how they, you know, made ends meet. I would say they, like, you know, some of the gifts that they would give me as like a child was like some drums and some guitars, you know. Oh, but, they're into, so they're into that type of music. Your parents were? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, that's both, killer. Both, 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 both. I, I ain't gonna lie. Back then, everybody, everybody in a different country got different music. Like African got like a certain music. 
you know, Fed Pen, and you know, everybody like beside USA got like different music. Not really so much into the rock metal. <laughs> I mean, like at the time, of course, then like my parents being into that, like of course that was their like you know um, way of living and how they you know made ends meet. I would say they like you know some of the gifts that they would give me as like a child was like some drums and some guitars, you know. Oh, but, they're into so they're into that type of music. Your parents were. Yeah. Yeah, oh, um, that's killer. my mom and my dad, my dad, so it wasn't necessarily like me. I wasn't too hipped on it. Like, you know, I would try the drums like, and then try the guitar. Didn't necessarily like, you know, get to uh, be too interested in it up until it. like high because like. Of yeah, that's how I was in, 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 in middle school, especially middle school. I was into drums and guitar just like my dad, but like trumpet and all that ain't ain't me. Of course, when you give someone something to do, they're not necessarily gonna like hop on right, that. Right, right, right. But I followed my own little like pathway of what I liked more as of like music and um like what I would listen to like from kids and from a kid and then like as I got a little bit older, I would listen to rap, R and B, and stuff like that. So yeah, okay, them. okay. So you do listen to rap and R and B, okay? Music I like hit. that. But when I started making music, I would say um, high school, and it would be like I figured he was gonna say high school. I thought he was gonna say like after high school, but I knew for it. But that's why I said before middle school. That's when everybody think they can you know in middle school it's it's a it's a mind, but high school is like when you actually a little bit older and you can just think of like yeah I can I want to do make That's music. Cool. Oh really? <laughs> so you went from your parents being to you're going down your own lane of hip hop R and B, and then you go back to <laughs> to heavy like metal. Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. What'd you do in the band? Were you the singer? Uh, I did kind of a little bit of uh, everything, like around high school and college. Like, um, I would start off just... Oh, so he was in college too? Okay. Trying to figure out because there was not a lot of people like working on recordings, you know, mm -hmm. that would have to, like, you know, I wanted to be that for a lot of people. I guess that was like kind of my goal, like at a certain time, like, early college and then like late high school i was learning i was trying my best to learn everything when it comes to like the being like a home studio just through my laptop and i remember showing hey you gotta start somewhere man y'all heard me just say man he used to do this with a laptop when i made my music i'm doing it off the phone so you gotta start somewhere man people some stuff but you know it was still really really raw and just me trying, trying to, cause you know, you have to deal with like, you know, real recorded snares and like, you know, kicks and the guitars mm -hmm. you know, and all the tones and stuff like that. But they're like, you know, the bare bones of what, what music is supposed to be like, but then you have to formulate a song with just those instruments, like, you know, guitar, bass, drums, and then just vocals. And then you would have to figure out the melodies with just the guitars alone, the whole like upper scale, the bass and the kick and like the toms would be like the main rhythmic backbone. Then I guess that's where I would say like most of our, uh, the musical songwriting, um, like it, it was kind of my, like, you know, uh, non, non systematic university for like mm -hmm. you know, mixing and mastering. Composed. And this is, you're doing all this with that band. So you're learning how to record Not like the guitars. Me. Yeah, it was just like, it was actually a couple bands. I formed some online bands. It was mostly not all online bands. And then I would go around. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, this man right like, here. Like, you know, my city or like in a couple of my hometowns in the Philippines, just um, skating around 
like, you know, looking for people who had the same interests for like death core, death metal. There was not a lot of us. So um, that's why I stayed on online mostly. Like I had like eight bands. They're still active today, like in terms of like Facebook profiles, you know. Oh, interesting. <laughs> um, but we haven't Total- necessarily remade to- some. Yeah, on. totally different than what you're doing now. Yeah, but, you know, still intact with that interest. I still listen to my favorite artists. Sure. Wow, that's interesting. So how do you... Who, who is your favorite artist? I know, I know uh, Ismail got a favorite artist in different, like, you know, English and, and, and Spanish and European. On the first interview I reacted to, he said it. Yeah, but, you know, still intact with that interest. I still listen to my favorite artists. Sure. Wow, that's interesting. So how do you go from that to, to the, the hip hop that you're doing now? I mean, I guess I would say I just love music, man. So just being able to make the music, I would say, is an honor. And, you know, it's like a privilege, I would say, that because like a lot of the people, even my dad and my mom, they would say, the the technology today today is like what benefits like you know people who really want it you know who really want to go for it then exactly exactly like some people think technology and technology is bad but once again it's good because it can turn you to get some money you have a lot that is already there for you but the hard work still has to be hard work to be able to like you know because it's not just an interest Right. It starts off as that, but then right. making the music, like, you know, you have to really get dive into it because it's like you go in the lab. Sure. Wow, that's interesting that you have so many active bands and especially, like, online. So it sounds like you were doing this way before, obviously, COVID and all that. So you almost had a leg up to people that yeah. were like, oh, now how do I record music? How do I work with people? I got to figure out all this remote stuff. So you were, what, yeah. meeting people online and then sending s- tracks back and forth? Mm-hmm. Interesting. So, like, got people um some f- made some good relationships in terms of like friendships that if we just talk like out of the blue it's like cool you know mm-hmm. because i haven't thoroughly like you know gone out of my way to you know to visit them in their places because some of them in italy australia you know some parts in um some parts in the southern americas and northern americas you know, just people who have the interest for like death code slash death. What? Mm-hmm. That boy is real about that. What? He got people in different countries. Whatever. Subgenres of like the the death realm of the middle. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. It's an ad. It's an ad. You two be strict by ads. Is it for What this boy is mill out here falling, cuz or so when do you start uh, then as mill as like a hip hop project? Easy mill. Easy mill. So that started when um because I would say the metal, you know, it goes so far unless you're like a die art of murder or like suicide silence and oh in sure uh-huh. death court if you have one like mainstream hit like um i would say holy war by dire murder and you only live once by suicide silence yeah those... Know, those records then they hit a little bit in the mainstream and they oh, said sure. there but mm-hmm. i would i didn't get that i didn't get to that point in time early enough in my life to where like you know my the metal side of like the music that I was making actually like, you know, worked out for me. So I had an interest as well for rap and hip hop and R and B and even some reggae. So like, Mm -hmm. because it's still in like the band realm and like composing it, it just like was that, um, like knowledge hurdle, like, you know, that little, like that little plateau that I had to get over for like learning how to make, um, 
R&B and rap because it was like compared to like metal and band music, it's a lot more like, you know, kind of quiet when it comes mm-hmm. to how you like, you know, set up. Something. Oh, yeah. I could tell he's meal was a Daphian music head, bro. Oh, man. The instruments, they have to be a lot more perfect kind of. So like just how to I die, I dove deep into that side and then mm-hmm. learn how to make the music on that and then like along the way even just learning i made sure to also try to give my knowledge back to the people that were following me just even though there was like probably just 200 of them you know at the time but um i i also gained a lot of knowledge from people that i um, worked with so like the panalo was like you know the, the that record as like a suggestion from my mom, like because of the background of like, you know, me being in school in the Philippines, like my whole up until 18, like, you know, 17 okay. being in the Philippines here where I am right now. So. Oh, you're in the Philippines you. right now. Yes, sir. I was wondering, it looks. Okay. Okay. Hey y'all. Um, that's it. That's it. I might do a part two next week. I'm going to say this video, do a part two. I already got a lot of videos to make. I just want to see, uh, you know, I, I just want to see what, what he was going to say, man. I just want to make a short little video. But um, other than that, man, I'm finna go ahead and react to this. Y'all going to see the Michael, y'all going to see the Michael uh, bars and East Mill before this video. It's your boy Brex48, man. The grind do not stop Brex, man. I'm out, man. We, we're going to do a part two for sure. If y'all get this video to 10 likes, bro, I'll do a part two, bro. Not not 10 likes, five likes. Get five likes, five likes. Y'all get this video five likes, I'll I drop another one maybe tomorrow or next week.